In this video, we're going to look at when to use the VF equals VI plus AT equation. Uh, if you look at the end of the video, you'll see how to rearrange this equation. Uh, and then also we'll have a, a practice problem with this equation. So first of all, what you need to realize is you have VF, VI, A, and T, and you don't have a displacement. So that's going to be important in choosing what equation to use. VF stands for final velocity, VI initial velocity, A acceleration, and T stands for time. Okay, so here in, in this example, a car, race car accelerated from 16.5 meters per second to, so this is going to be a final 38.1 meters per second, and it took 2.47 seconds to do that. So I started at, um, I, I started off at 16.5 meters per second, I ended off at 38.1 meters per second. And the time it took was 2.47. And the question, you need to make sure you don't forget the question. If you forget the question, you won't be able to pick the equation. The VI, VF, VI, A, and T. And now I'm trying to decide, okay, which acceleration equation should I pick? And if you look, this is the only one that has VF, VI, A, and T. It's VF equals VI plus AT. Okay, so then we do the math. Um, let's go ahead and solve for A. I'm going to plug in the numbers. If you want to know how to rearrange it first, watch the end of this video. VF is 38.1 equals 16.5 plus A times 2.47. And this is where you have to watch out. You cannot add 16.5 to 2.47. What we have to do first is subtract a 16.5, subtract 16.5, and at that point in time, A times 2.47. So 38.1 minus 16.5 equals 21.6. And now we're ready to go ahead, and I'm just going to switch these sides. I'm going to put A over here. A equals, and I'm going to divide both sides by 2.47. 2.47, that's going to get rid of this and make A alone. And then 21.6 divided by 2.47 equals 8. 0.74, and then don't forget the unit for acceleration, meters per second squared. So here's your final answer. Okay, so if I had to rearrange this equation for VI, what I'm going to do, VI, I can just get rid of AT, subtract the AT, subtract the AT, and I get VF minus AT equals VI, but I like to see the VI on this side equals VF minus AT. So this is how you'd rearrange that for VI. If I was trying to rearrange this for T, this is where I have to set, I need to get rid of the VI, get rid of the VI. And I have VF minus VI equals AT at that point. And now I need to rearrange, or I need to get rid of the A, the acceleration, divide by acceleration. And then I like to see this this way, T in front, VF minus VI over A. And if I had to rearrange, wanted to rearrange it for A, same thing, minus VI, minus VI, VF minus VI equals, the VI is gone, AT, and all I have to do from here is divide out the T. So when I cross out the T, A equals VF minus VI over T. Okay, and then once again, you saw this earlier, common algebra mistake, let me just give you some numbers. If VF was 10, VI was 2, A was, uh, we're looking for A, and, um, and time was 5. You can't add this 2 to this 5. So we have to subtract the 2 first, subtract the 2 first, 8 equals 5A. And now we can go ahead and do the 8 divided by 5, get our answer, and it would be meters per second squared. 